guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different than usual because i found an instagram hair hack that i was honestly shook by when i saw it so i thought why not try to film it for you guys basically as i was scrolling through instagram last night as one does completely mindlessly looking through my explore page i stumbled across a couple videos that were mind-blowing to me and it was basically this girl who was curling her hair with a water bottle and a hair dryer i don't know if you guys have seen this video but she just sticks her hair into a water bottle puts the blow dryer in this little slit that she cut out and it twirls her hair around in it while heating it up and it comes out perfectly curled i don't know if this is true there are a few things that i feel like actually work but this is something that i saw and i was like i have to try this when i was digging deeper i actually found the original post about this and this post was multiple videos of them doing this so i really do feel like this works but i may be just a big sucker for like a scam on instagram but i thought either way if it works or if it doesn't work this would be a fun video i definitely am not the type of person who tries these type of things when i see something online i'm like oh that that's cool like those 10 minute crafts I'm like yeah right 10 minutes that's a joke that would take me like six hours and it still would be a fail the one thing that I have done that I've seen on the internet a lot is where you like hold the blanket up in front of your dog and then you like drop it and run away and that failed so I don't really have high expectations for this so I've got my smart water bottle here and I'm going to cut this top part off I also have my knife from design school the one good thing that I learned in design school is it's always good to have a sharp exacto knife and I'm gonna cut this top part part off so I can like stick my hair in it and I guess I want it to be pretty long so I'm glad I have a tall water bottle because I feel like that way I can get all my hair in I think it should fit and then I'm gonna cut a notch in it that is the size of my hair dryer oh there's like a lot of hair stuck in here you're gonna stick your hair dryer in to the bottle so that it like vortexes your hair I only got one shot at this because I only have one of these bottles I'm just gonna start cutting and we're just gonna see what happens <laughs> Actually, I feel like scissors would be a lot better for this portion. Let me see if I have scissors. This should work better. Okay. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is what happens when you see a video at 1 a.m. and you're trying to think of video ideas to film. You're like, oh, that could be a good YouTube video. Okay, so I cut the top off pretty easy. My hair will go inside of this and there is some water still left in here because I just used this bottle. I don't really think that matters. So now I need to cut a little hole in it that fits just this part of the dryer in it. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do that. That's pretty, that looks pretty difficult. And cut it in the middle, I'm pretty sure. I will say the X-Acto knife is really good for the initial, oh geez. If you're not confident with your knife cutting skills, I really don't suggest trying to do this. This is actually quite hard. I'm not really sure how they cut this out. This looks so bad. That's not good enough. That's too small. This is me trying to do DIY crafts. Doesn't go very well. Ah, still too small. Oh, jeez. Okay, really? I think it has to be the size where like the dryer actually fits in it. Jason did bring up one point as I was telling him about this trick is he mentioned that wouldn't it be really bad if the blow dryer actually was just way too hot for the water bottle and then you just melted like all this plastic onto your hair. I don't think that's gonna happen but I definitely have considered that. And if that does happen, maybe this will go viral like that girl who like fried her hair out. And she got on Ellen. I feel like it was pretty beneficial for that reason. So maybe I could get on Ellen for like melting plastic into my hair trying this water bottle trick. Honestly, you should just curl your hair because the amount of effort that it takes to cut a stupid hole out of your water bottle is way more effort than it is to just curl your hair. I feel like this water bottle is honestly gonna melt. It's a pretty thin, smart bottle. Here we go. We have the hole in the water bottle. We have the top cut off. And my hair is slightly damp from the night before washing it. Hopefully, this will work. Just giving it a little fluff before I butcher it with this bottle. This is not one of my better hair days, in case you're new to my channel. Another concern of mine was it just blow drying it and tangling it to a point where I can't untangle it and then I have to cut my hair off. I've really thought of all of the possibilities and, um, um, that seems to be one of them as well. 
my hair is pretty thick so i think i'm gonna go in sections of four i'm gonna like pull this part and this front section back this is not how she does it but i just don't think it's gonna work with my entire head of hair or even like half of my hair this is a bad idea so i've got this section of hair and i'm going to place my hair into this water bottle and see what happens like that okay here we go okay good enough here we go we're gonna try this again i know for a fact that was not supposed to happen <laughs> which way maybe i twisted it i don't know okay i gotta tilt it more down i was tilting the dryer up okay are you kidding me maybe i have too much in there we're gonna troubleshoot this because i really want this to work now that i have done all this work okay small sections here we go and maybe i should like hold this top part so that the hair literally cannot go flying out okay let's see and we have somewhat curled somewhat knotted i think the sort of damp hair is not gonna work i get it though i'm seeing the slightest wave i gotta cut this hole bigger because i think this is where my problem is we're trying this again piece of hair down into the bottle i cut the hole a little bigger and i'm gonna hold it the dryer now well this is the biggest mess of my life did it work I'm seeing a curl. The effort that that took to do that was honestly ridiculous. It does look cute, but it doesn't look like what hers looked like. Now I'm a little concerned that either my hair is too long, it's too wet, or I'm just doing it wrong. Okay, we're going back in again because I'm going to get this. But she holds it there for a long time, so maybe I'm not holding it there long enough. Oh! Oh my gosh, I got it. Yes! Oh my gosh, I did it! Because my hair is still damp, that's not a great example. But you have to hold the dryer at an angle so you can't put it straight in, which makes a lot more sense. You see it? That's better. Still not what hers looked like, but I think my hair's too long. Let's just keep moving on. This should not take 30 minutes to figure out, by the way. Okay, so that one was decent. Honestly, my hair looks exactly the same as I started, just slightly more curled at the ends. Now let's just start with these back pieces now. I just don't understand how she made this look so easy. And this is why you don't try stuff that you see online, folks. Because it always just disappoints you. Okay, that looks like a knotted mess. I see the light curl. Do you see that? This is going to be a 45 minute video of how I failed at curling my hair this morning. Yeah, that looks really good. Are you kidding me? I'm just... Okay. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. That is not bad. Right? Did I take 20 minutes to figure out how to get this? Yes, I did. Was it worth it? Probably not. Kind of. That's like a, that's like a nice, loose, beachy curl not bad not good but it's not bad it's fine what do you think of my curled hair actually it looks kind of good i mean it looks a little <laughs> <laughs> can you actually tell i did anything yeah oh definitely these, that... these front ones <laughs> he's just being nice i'm not it looks like you at least tried to do something <laughs> the bad news is is that it took me 45 minutes to achieve this but the good news is, is it's not bad enough to where like I can't wear it out. How long did you twirl it in the pocket? <laughs> now Jason's gonna try to, you're just wadding it up. I think you've got too big of a hole. No, I had to get my dryer in there. <laughs> get it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold the top that's gonna fly out of the top. How do you hair dry? No, that, you're holding the cool button. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it's, it's right on the back. <laughs> I can confirm that the front part looks... Okay, I'll hold it. It's not spinning! Oh, you got it to spin! <laughs> it's not any 
better. Okay. okay, so after 45 minutes of trying to curl my hair with a plastic water bottle and a hair dryer, I can confirm that it neither is great nor destructive to your hair. It curled it enough to where I feel like it does look like I at least dried my hair other than air drying it. But this right here in the front looks like I got a blowout, so that's really nice. It looks like I just took a round brush and pretty much blow dried my hair, which you could also do so much easier than using this bottle. So far, I can confirm that it is not worth the effort of cutting a bottle, doing all of that just to achieve this. But if you guys want to give it a try, I would highly suggest it because it's more just fun and it's a great time killer. And if you do end up trying it, please let me know what your results are and if they are better than mine. So if you guys try it out and it works, please let me know because I really want this to work. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this weird random video and like these style of videos where I just try things that I see on the internet, this was a fun little test. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And like I said, leave me a comment if you end up trying this out. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you guys back for some more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!